Emily Corolla came in as a transfer from our arch rival EVA. Was was that transition pretty tough for you guys? Credit to Emily Carollo, she made the most of it. She came in here right away. Um, I've never seen anything like it from a transfer. She um, imposed her personality and she jumped right in. She was a leader by day five. We did a little survey about two weeks into the season, did a little survey about who do you follow and who inspires you. And I mean, our best players are inspired by Emily Carollo's work ethic. And uh, I just give her a ton of credit because she could have sat back and watched how it all worked or she could get right in and roll her sleeves up and, uh, and kick a few people. And that's exactly what she's done since her, her work rate's incredible. We had a moment during a match where the fourth official walked over to me and he said, uh, he's seen our matches in the past and he said, who is this freshman? I love her work rate in the way that you do when you see Mel Weber. It's just a relentless um, work rate that uh, it opens everybody's eyes. She grabs your attention, and that's Rolo. So Emily Corolo, a huge personality for this team, came in her final year here at Penn State, came from UVA. How has her transition been, you know, the team coming from such a, I guess, rival in Penn State in, with UVA? Well, it's actually kind of funny. We always pick on Rolo with her UVA sticker on her car and on her <laughs> laptop. So we always give her a hard time about her undergrad, but we're glad that she chose Penn State. And she's such a great person. She's um, very charismatic and a hard worker. So she's been a great addition to this team. When she gets on the field, what does she do? What are her strengths on the field? I think when she enters the game, she kind of has that confidence in herself and she puts in that hard tackle or she makes that good pass or she just kind of uplifts the team and she says we can do this like this let's go and so she kind of has that um, motivational aspect I think. Emily Carollo transferred in from UVA what has her transition been like from such a arch rival school in UVA? Uh, I think it's been really good uh, she came in with a ton of energy and she's just a really amped up person to begin with so uh, uh, she's just come in and you know made this place her home and We've welcomed her as, as much as possible, and she just rolled with it, like as if she never came from UVA. But uh, I know when we went there, we were all giving her crap, and she's got, she's got, she still has a UVA sticker on her car and stuff. And we're like, roll, come on, like you don't go there anymore, take it off. And every once in a while, we catch her with some like blue and orange gear, and we're like, get it off, like this is Penn State. But um, I think she's she's doing so well, and we just love her to death. Like she's been here for four years. Molly well, Corolla has gotten. Uh, key minutes for you guys in, in big games. What does she bring when she comes on the on the field? Uh, just energy, energy, and just this enthusiasm of let's go, let's go, and and rouse everyone up. Uh, when she's on the field, she's talking, and you can hear her all the way from the goal. Um, she wants that ball, and she wants to do as much work as she can for the team. And uh, yeah, just a lot of energy. So from New Jersey. Decided to go to UVA, huge school, great tradition of soccer, had a great four years there, and now soccer at Penn State. What has that transition been like for you? Um, the transition has been a little crazy, mostly because it, Penn State is just such a different atmosphere, and in a totally good way. It's just a much larger school. To be honest, I feel like there's so much more support from just the community as a whole, especially even, I feel like we've seen fans come from hours away, which was just totally surprising to me because a lot of times the crowds in Charlottesville were very local, and um, it's been a really awesome atmosphere change. I mean, I just feel like I come to Jeffrey Field and it's so exciting to play and you have a great crowd supporting you and great coaches and teammates. And every day, you know, I get up and I come to play here and I'm, I'm excited to play. You know, Penn State put such an emphasis on Jeffrey Field, as you just said. Um, what has it meant to you to play on this field and, and get some very valuable minutes in big games? Um, it's meant a lot to me, um, mostly because it's just such a great place to play. And you have so many people supporting you. And it just really, it's, it's a huge confidence boost. It really makes you feel fantastic and feel like you can go, you know, take over the world and stuff <laughs> yeah. like that. Um, and especially being on both ends of the spectrum, like knowing coming to Jeffrey and playing was always so intimidating. And now I realize why. It's because I completely feel how amazing it is to have the support of not only such a great set of fans, but a great team also. <laughs> what has been your favorite moment on Jeffrey Field? My favorite moment on Jeffrey Field, I think is a very recent one when 
Whitchurch scored the winning goal against Northwestern. And everybody just stormed the field and it was just so exciting. And Kaminsky went and picked it. It might have been Shram like randomly up and it was just, it was so much fun to just have and just totally feel that team atmosphere and everybody just supporting each other so much. It was just a fantastic feeling to be able to just celebrate in that moment with these girls. What will you miss most about playing for the Blue and White? Uh, what I'll miss most is definitely the girls. I love this team. They are just hilarious and supportive and every day when I show up to practice or games I, I'm just excited to be around my teammates and I, I know for a fact I will definitely be best friends with a lot of these girls for the rest of my life.